Hi. I wanted to make a quick video to talk a little bit about the weekend retreat that I'm hosting here in Michigan in October. But the more I thought about it, uh, thought about what I was going to say, I don't particularly need to tell you the details. You can read all those on the website. Um, what I really kind of wanted to, to talk about is what you might expect to get from something like this, and even more so because I don't know what you would get from it. I honestly, you know, I don't know. But I can tell you what I've gotten from this information, these principles and, and this stuff that I've been studying and teaching for the last few years. So, so when I thought, well, what am I going to say in this video? Am I just going to tell them what, what time it is and where to pay and where to be there? You know, it sounded kind of lame. So I thought, you know, what is it that I've gotten? Like, what, what is this about? What do I really want to share with people? And personally, insights are so personal, but personally I've had uh, kind of three huge insights since I've been studying this stuff that I thought maybe I could share. So I'm going to do that across three videos. The three insights are it's all good, um, it's all thought, and it's all temporary. So in this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about my it's all good insight. And again, you know, this ties into the weekend because if you choose to join us, which I really hope you do, you're going to be in a room for a day and a half with some amazing teachers besides myself. There's three amazing, amazing teachers that have agreed to be there and a bunch of like-minded people like yourself and just kind of looking at, you know, what it means to be human. What is being human and how does it operate and what's underneath the surface and how does our experience come to life and you know why and how do we feel and think all the stuff we feel and think so if you choose to be there this these insights are things you may get for yourself you're going to get your own version of them but but these are just a few things that I've seen in in these ideas and these principles so what does it's all good mean um, yeah where do you start with it's all good so I remember I wrote about this in the beginning of, of being human Listening to a speaker one time say something that I'm not sure what they said, but what I heard from that, from what I've heard the speaker say, is that every human on earth is fundamentally well. We all are connected to something bigger than ourselves all of the time without exception. That never goes away. That connection is there, that wellness is there, that peace of mind that we feel is so fleeting sometimes is there. It's always there. And it's like, it's right here. It's within us all the time. And on top of that, we think. We have all kinds of stuff running through our minds, right? We have scattered thoughts and habitual thoughts and just all kinds of stuff. We just live in this sea of thought, never ending thought. And that thought is what we're feeling much of the time. Not all the time. Sometimes we kind of get beneath it. But a lot of the times, and especially, I mean, anytime we're not feeling great, we're feeling all of this kind of moving, changing thought. And that thought is very personal. It's very subjective. It's very uh, fickle. It's not, it's very consistent in that it's very habitual, but it's also very inconsistent. You know, it's full of paradoxes. It's, it's very um, hypocritical in many ways. And so most of us go through life not knowing that that's what we're experiencing. We think we're experiencing life. Like, no, so-and-so, they said this to me, or this happened, or, you know, it's a sunny day, or it's a cloudy day, and we're feeling life around us. But what this speaker, what I heard and what this speaker said, is that, no, we're actually just feeling all of this surface stuff. That underneath that surface stuff, this is the good part, but underneath that, it's all good. <laughs> like there is, you know, that whatever it is we're all looking for all the time, that connection and well-being and peace of mind and confidence and all of that stuff we always want is right there underneath our thinking all of the time from the moment we're born and the moment we die and even those are just made up forever for infinity. And for me, that really, you know, you, you may hear this and get nothing from it, or you may hear this and get something from it. I hope you do. For whatever reason, in that moment when I heard it, I heard that very deeply, and it kind of changed everything. It really did. It, it, it gave me a sense of, 
of peace and connection that it was, there was hope, you know, it was like, even when I'm not feeling that peace and connection, there's hope because it is our nature. It's always there. It's always possible for everyone all the time, even for people who rarely feel it. And even for all of us, when we're not feeling it, it's always possible. And you know, we will always find our way back. It's home base. So we're going to find our way back home at least you know, as often as we can, as often as we do, but just knowing that that's our home base was so comforting. So kind of piggybacked on that insight in the days and weeks that followed, I really just started to see like, wow, whenever I'm feeling really bad about something, I'm really just caught up in thought. It's not the reality of it because the reality of it is it's all good. When I'm feeling bad, bad about myself and feeling like I'm depressed or anxious or something, you know, if, if anyone is feeling like that, that's not true. You're feeling your thinking. And that's the, that's the indication. When you're not feeling home base, when you're not feeling at home within yourself, at peace and contentment, you're just feeling a lot of thought. And, you know, I remember maybe, I don't know how long it was, maybe a few weeks after I heard that initial talk, um, I had an opportunity to do something that I was really excited about doing. I was going to travel to Chicago. It was like a media thing. I was really excited, and then it fell through last minute, and I got really pissed off. I mean, really just fell into a really bad mood for a while, and at some point in that, I mean, I still fell into it. It's human, you know. I was in it for, for a while, and at some point, I thought, you know what? I'm just not seeing the whole picture because if it's all good, and I really deeply heard that it's all good, if it is all good, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> what I'm feeling isn't the fact that this, that, you know, they cancel this event or that I'm not going on this trip or whatever. Nothing to do with that. What I'm feeling is a bunch of thinking I have. And that thinking doesn't reflect reality. That thinking is creating my reality in this moment, but it doesn't reflect anything out there. It doesn't, thinking doesn't work that way. Thinking creates. It, it doesn't take pictures and reflect back to us. And so, you know, just over, over all kinds of episodes like that, it just started to kind of sink in deeper and deeper that it is all good. And whenever it's not good, we're lost in thought. So I'll stop there. I don't, I don't want this uh, to drone on too long, but there will be two more videos. I'll talk about two of my other big insights. Um, but you know, the things like this, these ideas and these insights that people have that when you have them, just like mine with that, I mean, it really changes you. It doesn't mean you live the rest of your life in bliss. It doesn't mean you always remember the insight as in like you're always remembering it and feeling it, but you don't lose it either. It sort of becomes a part of you. And I feel like for me, when I kind of saw that it's all good, it sort of moved my baseline up a little bit. I, I felt a little closer to that contentment just just by nature, you know, and bad stuff can still happen. I still have bad moods and all of that stuff, but there, it was like a, I don't know, the baseline just felt a little higher. So, um, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll consider joining us for the Being Human weekend in October in Michigan, and I'll make sure that you get all the details on that if you want to see all the, all the details and specifics. Um, and, you know, if you do, these kinds of insights and different ways of seeing things are hopefully what's in store for you.